Ready? I'll push you. Here we go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are up super early this morning. Well, not super early, but super early for winter break because we've been sleeping in a little bit more. Because we are headed up, headed down to a friend's cabin that they invited us to. Actually, and Landon don't have a lot of personal space back there. They invited us to come up. They have a bunch of snowmobiles and some great sledding hills. So we're really excited to go enjoy this beautiful winter snow. We've never been up to this place before, but apparently you can't drive all the way into the cabin. So we are going to have to park a mile away and our friends who are already there are going to drive their snowmobile in to pick all of us up and snowmobile us into the cabin. Which is kind of crazy. I'm trying to picture how we're going to fit all of us and all of our stuff on these snowmobiles. All right, guys, we are in beautiful Fairview Canyon this morning, getting ready to go snowmobile this beautiful landscape. Guys, this is amazing out here. There's gotta be a good probably 30 to 40 inches of snow. There's about 12 inches of fresh powder. It's gonna be awesome today, and Annabelle is just absolutely having a blast. Anyway, guys, so, I mean, for those of you that have been following our family for a long time, you know that we absolutely love the outdoors. For those of you that are new, welcome. We just love being outside. Anything um, boating, snowmobiling, skiing, sledding, hiking, you name it. We seem to have some sort of hobby for every season. I will say that our hobby for winter is probably not snowmobiling. It's probably more so skiing. But at the same time, our kids love to do this. This is so deep that actually is, Ashton has literally fallen all the way to his waist in the snow. So anyway guys, today's gonna be awesome. We've got a couple GoPros, some drones. We'll get some great angles and we're gonna have a blast with our neighbors. Look at that giddy up, people. <laughs> What's up, dude? You guys look at this cabin just buried in snow. Dude, Kyle, this is amazing, bro. It's fun. It's this fun. is heaven on earth. How much snow do you think there is here, Kyle? How many, how many four feet here. We have four feet of snow here, you guys. It's just beautiful cabins all around. This is a winter paradise. Jaden, what's up, buddy? High fives, dude. Boom. Annabelle, hey, look. Look, it's bear. Look, it's bear. It's bear. I cannot turn in this thing. All right, guys. Kyle's coming to the rescue. Because I've gotten stuck in now twice in the last maybe five minutes. But guys, look how deep this is. Down to my knees here. Lindsay and the kids are out sledding right now. In fact, let's cut over to them for a minute, see how much fun they're having on, on the sledding hill. I'm trying to walk 
like a hundred feet that way in the snow. And every time I take a step, I sink in the snow up to my knees. <laughs> and I'm like, probably the most out of breath I've ever been in my life. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Go Eva! <laughs> <laughs> I got nailed in the face with snow. Good job, Lando. When did you get so brave at sledding? Um, when I was a baby, I couldn't. When you were a baby, you couldn't? And now you're bigger? And did you know last time I was on this little one? and I was surfing. Oh, I remember when you were snowboarding. That was so fun. Yeah. We're at the cabin. Woo! Well, we were trying to get a ride up the hill and uh, we crashed and burned a little bit. This one's yours? Put it right there, okay? All right, Dad's back from snowmobiling. He survived. Only got stuck four times? Uh, I don't know, Blake. How many was it? Uh, it was probably at least four. <laughs> at least four. He's not invited again. But that's okay. <laughs> I still <can> <laughs> And now we're getting ready to take all the kids out. Ava, are you going to drive oh, the snowmobile? Miles an hour, aren't Look you? at her face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to be good. <laughs> She's recovered. Her back's recovered from that epic jump. jump. You have a jump? Yeah. Okay, bye, see you. Have fun, love you. Are you wearing a GoPro? I am. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, babe. Who's driving? Am I driving? I don't know. Ava, are you driving? Is that Lando? Ashton. Oh, Ashton. <laughs> wow. I just time. got the wrong twin. Because you're covered up in a helmet. And I didn't look very close, but that was embarrassing. Is that better? Is it? Are you gonna go 100 miles an hour? Guys, comment down below if you like Kyle's totally owning this. I want Justin to get a snowsuit like that. I love it. Back to the 80s we go. Tipsy Elf, snowsuit. Your hands get tired from endless high five. <laughs> it's in the mornings. Ready? I'll push you, here we go. <laughs> yeah, ew. <laughs> Lindsay's turn here to get stuff. Look what she's gotten herself into. What? Snow is so deep. I think together we can get her out. So there we go. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one, he says. See if you can get weight on that side, like kind of pull up with it. Mm -hmm. Like grip it. Like I grab that mountain bar. Dude, this is so deep. <laughs> you 
guys, we are out here looking for Landon's watch. He was sledding and gosh, this is a brand new watch. As you guys know, he got it for Christmas and he'll be so bummed if he lost it. And so he was crawling around here at the bottom. I wish Annabelle honestly was like a sniff dog. She could figure it out, but we're gonna call it to see if we can hear it ring, but we don't have really good service up here. So we are currently in the pursuit of a needle in a haystack. All right, well, after many, many minutes, we'll call it, not hours of looking for this watch, we are victorious. Vanna, where'd we find your watch? In the back. I thought it was in the snow, but it was in the back. Yep. So it was in the back all along, right down here. So we didn't lose it, and he's stoked. You guys, one of the things that I absolutely love about the wintertime, especially in places like this, is this. Ready for this? Listen. Nothing. It's perfectly quiet out here. And I love that. I love just how silent it is. The snow just insulates everything. And it just becomes this winter wonderland. So we are wrapping up. Here's been our chariots for the day, you guys. We've had quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The day is winding down. We are gonna head down back to our car on the snowmobiles and uh, head back down the canyon. Probably get a little dinner along the way, but we had an absolute blast today. So huge shout out to this guy right here for showing us a good time. So glad you guys were able to make it. it was Dude, a blast. absolute blast, babe. Seriously, this is fun. the king of fun over here. He has like seven <laughs> sleds. Do you think, Lynn, that uh, this is now permission for me to go get some? <laughs> Uh, maybe you should work on not getting stuck first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. So one of my favorite things about small towns is the small town food. There was a time we went uh, rock climbing in Maple Canyon and stopped at this little mom and pop shop burger joint. It was so small that I literally went into the back, put on an apron, and started making my burger. And I helped them make the other burgers because they were crowded at that time. So we've stopped at a very similar spot called TC's. Guys, I think Ava is definitely tired. What do you think, Ava? Are you tired? Hmm? Yeah. Did you have fun snowmobiling now? Do you think a french fry and a burger will help you feel like not so tired? Yeah. Do you want to buy a snowmobile and drive it with me really fast? You do? You were really good at it. All of our kids were really good at snowmobiling today. We had Turin who totally owned it. He was not prepared to drive by himself, but when we got there, yeah, you know, he asked, yeah, he did drive by himself. They needed him too because we had an extra snowmobile that we needed to get back to the cabin. And so he stepped up like a like a man and, and jumped on and, and drove it all on his own. The twins are adrenaline junkies, so they loved it the whole time. So last time we went snowmobiling, Ava did not love it. And that was last year. But this year, you totally loved it, huh? We should do it one more time, don't you think? Yeah. I'm hungry. Let's eat. Why don't you eat? All right. Well, I think everyone was very satisfied with their meal. Turbo, how was it? Amazing. Amazing. This table seemed pretty satisfied. Lano. Very satisfied. Very satisfied up there. Triple cheese. This Oreo shake's doing pretty good. It's kind of like the same color as your snow pants. It's like a camo, like a snow camo. Yeah. It's like a gray. Yeah. That means you can spill it all over yourself. We won't even know. How was it? So good. Did you eat it all gone? Who's the best? Who's the best snowmobile driver? What? <laughs> That's right. You don't think it's me? I can you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you girls enjoying your milkshake? He is sharing over here. What do we got? Banana. Oh, yummy. Guys, we have made it safely back from snowmobiling, and we've got a few people, I think, still hanging on. Those of us who are still hanging on are exhausted. Mm -hmm. Pretty much out. Landon's up. Well, you guys, thank you for joining us for an awesome, fun-filled day of snowmobiling. We've got a bunch of daredevils in this family, Turn being numero uno. So Turn over here, when we were driving back down to the trucks, was following me like, you know, a good son should. And apparently he says I went off a cliff, which I did not it go off a cliff. It wasn't a cliff, it was a huge hill. It was a very steep hill, which in the dark made it seem like it was a drop off, but it, it was not. It looked like a big cliff. It was a shortcut. And Turin just bombed it like a madman. Well, I thought that was just the trail. I was just following you, but I couldn't see what was in front of me. And then I just, I had no time to stop or turn around, so I just had to go. Lesson learned, always follow your dad and he'll keep you safe. He did follow you. I know. 
there you go. Oh, safe, but I mean like. Yeah. I was the designated safe driver, so people who were sick of driving crazy would all fight over going with me. And none of the kids wanted to go with me. <laughs> surprise, surprise. That's because you get halfway oh, out man, the snowmobile. I was, I was just sidewind in those things. I will say we have been snowmobiling before a couple of times, actually maybe this is my second time. But usually we go on groomed trails and so snowmobiling in the powder today was a completely different experience. Oh yeah, it's a whole new world. And and everyone got stuck like 10 times. Yeah, we all got stuck so many times and everyone was so nice and pulled us out over and over and over and over and over. And everyone always gets stuck though. And then there was Ava, who was just this like crazy daredevil. Oh my gosh, she you would didn't just even go down these coming. giant sledding hills. Like ever she since would... she turned four, <laughs> she just booked it down. The drone footage, by the way, that I got of Ava just was hilarious. She would just haul down the hill, and I would oh, think like, it... oh, she didn't know what she was getting herself like, into. Like I, 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 at one point at the bottom of the hill, I thought I was going too fast. Like I thought I was gonna like if I fell off, I was gonna die. And Ava's just there laughing when <laughs> she eats snow. <laughs> Honestly, I could not believe how fast she was hauling down that hill. She didn't even care. She loved it. And Lindsay uh, pulled out her true competitive spirit in a race down the mountain. And I think you may have beat Shannon. Shannon, so if you're seeing this, sorry, I think Lindsay may have won. Oh my goodness, we were hauling. It was funny, I was, stu <laughs> I was stuck behind her in the beginning and I didn't want to run into her, so I was kind of putting my feet down. Then I got off to the side of her, so I let my feet up, but it was like, <gasps> <laughs> I just flew right by her and I was like, oh my goodness, if I fall, I'm gonna, it's gonna hurt so bad, so. Well, we had a ton of fun and as you can see half the car is asleep so we're gonna go to bed we actually had more than half the car because annabelle's asleep too hey guys annabelle oh my gosh annabelle was oh, a true she, dog crazy. after her own heart out there today she it was amazing it so much. chasing after the snowmobiles she was so cute we are gonna sign off and we will see you in the morning peace out peace